And there you have it, Varghis. Uh, roadshow or no roadshow, the Prime Minister... The Prime Minister said the strike, oh, the there. Was the point. <laughs> Look at that. The ISRO chairman uh, and all the team of uh, Chandrayaan-3 and the top members of uh, Satish Dhawan Space Center, uh, the propulsion complex uh, 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 center in Tiruvananthapuram, Vikram Sarabhai Center. That's the visual over there. The pat on the back, the pat of... Uh, you know, congratulations, uh, the pat of, uh, uh, you know, uh, of achievement, the pat of success, um, all of that S. Somnath must have felt. He must have, those pats are still reverberating on the back of S. Somnath, let me tell you that. The, 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 uh, the He's probably going to sleep on his stomach today. <laughs> S. Somnath is going to sleep on his stomach today. Well, S. Somnath uh, being uh, congratulated along with the team of uh, Chandrayaan being congratulated, the Prime Minister being welcomed. That's the project director. Uh, that is the project director of, uh, you know, uh, this uh, uh, project called Chandrayaan. The, uh, you know, it, it is... Uh, uh, it's a very exciting moment for the scientists themselves because uh, they were given a task that was supposed to have been very complicated, very tough and at the same time uh, they couldn't uh, technically expect to be a failure because the world's eyes were on that particular project because they wanted to see how India would manage to do it and you know there were our rivals who said that you know these people are playing with toys, uh, some of those uh, nations that can't even send a rocket uh, to the upper atmosphere. These were the nations that were in fact trying to judge us on what happened with Chandrayaan. But anyway, this uh, achievement does go ahead and shut them up completely. So I think uh, it's a big international stamp that happened when India was able to land the rover on Chandrayaan. And uh, what a exciting I mean, and, and, and these hugs are real tight hugs, all right. These are not your formal, formality hugs. These are the real tight ones, like... Like, get in here, boy. Uh, good, good job. job. Yeah, exactly. That's it, the it, thing. It, 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 it's that kind of a, a vibe. And, uh, um, of course, all smiles. Uh, what a big day for all these ISRO scientists as well. Finally getting a chance to uh, converse with the Prime Minister one-on-one. -on -one. Um, getting a picture. It's a proper photo of. Uh, photo of. Beg your pardon. Uh, the Prime Minister, so he lands, he speaks to the gathering, he holds a small road show, uh, then goes to the ISTRAC, which is the telemetry and uh, commanding station in Bengaluru from where the entire uh, mission was carried out and uh, meets with the ISRO scientists. So it's like a full circle for the Prime Minister. Diplomacy, science and research from the BRICS summit to Bengaluru and ISRO's uh, ISTRAC in Bengaluru. The Prime Minister does know how to conduct uh, these kind of things. Uh, now doesn't he, worry. he knows, he knows how to conduct these things uh, really well and uh, right now BRICS expansion at the BRICS uh, talking about the Greece wildfires in, at that uh, you know uh, bilateral talks in Greece from there directly touching down in Bengaluru saying that you know um, I appreciate that all of you came out early in the morning because the man is uh, you know full of energy uh, after the BRICS summit uh, a lot of jokes were you know doing the rounds on the internet that Maybe uh, Prime Minister Modi is taking a break in Greece. Uh, <laughs> but no, that wasn't the case. Uh, he was actually holding bilateral talks. Uh, well, there, we have uh, the ISRO chairman explaining the entire, uh, you know, the, through the model, the rover, right. the lander, and how it, uh, the entire project has taken but off. But this gives us, uh, us as well, an idea of uh, what the life size, uh, you know, um, actual dimensions of... Um, the the Vikram lander, lander as well as the rover could be. Yeah. yeah, it looks like that. We are getting an idea about how big that rover as well as uh, the uh, thing is. Now, I think he's been given an explanation on the uh, instruments that have been there on the right, lander the as well as the payload. The, payloads payloads on, um, uh, there on you go, the shape system. Uh, the names are also written over there. The shape, the chas, the rambhas, the APXS, the, uh, the That lips. is an image of that rover that just rolled out on the surface of the moon and uh, this is what uh, is Absolutely. now doing the How scientific How about we split work. those visuals? If the control room can split these visuals of the Prime Minister learning about the rover and the rover actually on the moon, uh, um, well moonwalking on India's behalf, on behalf of the ISRO team and of course the Prime Minister and S. Somnath as well. But like I said, S. Somnath certainly sleeping on his stomach today, Varghese. So is the entire Chandrayaan 3 team because of uh, the pats that they've received on the back. Uh, and like I'm saying, pats of achievement, success, um, organization, unity, teamwork, you name it. Um, these people deserve it. Kudos to the, uh, the, the scientific community of India. 
Well, the scientific community of India is this is one of the biggest uh, feathers in its cap uh, when it came to the scientific community. And uh, one of the things that we also should, in fact, take a look at is that uh, I think a lot of big ticket projects uh, are going to happen from ISRO and probably even in other scientific quarters. Uh, it's not only ISRO that was involved in this. You know, there is a lot of private space agencies that gained valuable experience from this. A lot of private agencies have gained valuable experience when it came to manufacturing of complicated electronics, uh, instrumentation, uh, instrumentations so the this project is also about a wealth of information wealth of development of technology wealth of proof of concept and uh, I think if you're looking at a rover mm -hmm. kind of a thing mm -hmm. I think the next big ambition of ISRO would to have a rover on Mars now in on Mars of course we know the Americans have been sending in several of them so spirit curiosity uh, you know uh, uh, several such rovers have been in fact been sent by the Americans uh, from for a very long time uh, onto the Martian surface. I think uh, even the, uh, it is time that we uh, are able to in fact uh, send one rover to uh, and that would be the next Mangalyan mission because we already sent the orbiter. Uh, I think this would be the rover on the surface. A mission of, to Venus also on the cards. Maybe we'll send a rover over there, Vargis as well. well I, I, the only and that was a rough landing when the only country that has been able to put a probe or crash land uh, rather that is the Venera probe of the Soviet Union in on Venus because you know Venus has its own challenges it's it's got a very hot surface uh, it's mm. got cloud mm. cover mm. unlike Mars uh, where you know you have a, an atmosphere which is quite uh, kind of earth but a little more less dense uh, at the same time with Venus it's got dense clouds and we don't know whether it will survive as well but uh, the Venus, uh, the Russians have been able to land on Venus to find out what exactly uh, the data they can collect from uh, Venus. We know a lot about it from the Venera probes that the uh, Soviet Union has launched. So, right now, I think uh, probably uh, Shukrayan, as it is being said, would be mostly on the ground. Uh, will be mostly on the ground, uh, uh, will be mostly an orbiter first and then probably they will think of a rover because the dynamics on Venus is totally different from Mars or even on the moon. But we will be testing a lot of our technologies on the moon and uh, probably after that Mars and then uh, Venus because Venus though it's closer to the Earth has its own different dynamics. Well, so Mr. Chief S. Somnath, uh, after greeting the Prime Minister, explaining exactly what the Pragyan rover and the uh, lander Vikram are all about, what they're going to essentially be up to, what they're going to be doing. Um, um, as Somnath um, also, uh, you know, laid a lot of emphasis, Varghese, on the upcoming missions. Aditya L1, September 2023, Gaganyan, there's a mission that's coming in collaboration with the United States, Artemis. Uh, there's a mission in collaboration with Japan called Lupex. Um, there's a Shukrayan uh, that's on the cards. Uh, the ISRO chairman himself, as Somnath, he's got his hands full at this moment, doesn't he? It's not only the ISRO chairman Somnath. Now, whoever is going to sit on that hot seat are going to have their hands full because I think this has opened up a series of ambitions and at the same time, Mm, uh, we are going to in fact see how uh, in Israel is going to just expand its horizons. Well, it's not only about domestic, it is about space uh, explorations, new technologies and how those new technologies that Israel developed would soon be making a difference in our daily lives also. You know, technologies that are developed away, especially when it comes to material science, electronics, tend to make way to private sectors and from then onwards to our lives as well. So, this achievement is not mm. limited to mm. the moon. It's uh, development of technology that has taken place by ISRO in these spaces. Well, it could have a huge effect on our private lives as well. Uh, the, because as I was telling you, hardened electronics, the kind of tech they have uh, discovered, it could make a uh, way for better products, electronic products as well. So it's not just an achievement. You know, a lot of people criticize these missions saying that, why do we have to spend a lot of money on this? The question is, it's not about, you know, the main focus of that mission. The kind of spin-off of technology that we get when we carry on with such missions tend to have a ripple effect down mm. later. Mm. And that is why a lot of countries, you know, for example, 
material sciences had taken leaps and bounds when the space research happened and when the space race happened. The, we were developing materials that were totally different uh, from traditional understanding. Uh, you know how the shuttles work. We have developed ceramics that can withstand huge amount of heat. That did make way into a local production as well. Uh, it did have an effect on uh, creating uh, uh, furnaces for uh, uh, steel melting and other things. So, the, you have these technologies actually having a ripple effect. It has a trickle down effect as well. It's not only a ripple effect, it has a trickle down effect. So, when you're investing you into these technologies, you which was we from are, inside the telemetry and commanding center, from where we exactly saw the uh, live telecast. Look at these visuals. Um, everybody is clapping. They're applauding for themselves, of course, and the Prime Minister walking amongst them, of course, applauding to each and every one of them. Um, the day must be dedicated to these ISRO scientists, and why not, rightly so, for the work that they have carried out. And the Prime Minister joined it right here, and from here he's going to see exactly what is going to be happening live up there. Take a look at the screens behind there. I'm more interested in the mega screens behind uh, all these scientists. Uh, uh, will we catch something that the ISRO Twitter page is not putting out? Well, I think the, you were actually saying that uh, the Prime Minister will be given some... Uh, Live feed. Uh, live feed. He'll, he'll, be, he'll be fed live data himself. <laughs> I think he's uh, taking the seat and he is going to be given I that. I told you the Prime uh, Minister is going to be pampered. I wish I was in that position, but uh, well, of course. Uh, he's the Prime Minister, and hence he's got access to all these. Uh, we were very fortunate cool to have our Honorable Prime Minister, though away. He joined us live to greet us, to congratulate us, to be with us. And thank you so much for your presence during such a historic day. You promised us that you will come and meet us on that day. And we are, you are here. And thank you so much for your gracious presence today amongst us. And we, today we look forward to your words of wisdom, your vision, your expectation from us. And for the, all those words, we are at a years to you. Honorable Pradhan Mandiri Ji, you are welcome to the control center. Thank you, sir.